Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Feels like it's been forever since I've uploaded a video. I guess it kind of has been in YouTube terms. So I've taken seven days off and during that time I reworked the ROW file for Leicester GP. Leicester's not my circuit, but I did it so that we could have a race here, a successful race with the GTEs on release of the Aston Martin Vantage GTE. So if you've got Leicester, um, you'll know that it's basically impossible to run an AI race here successfully. You'll either finish without any opponents or you won't finish at all because they'll have ended your life. Um, they kind of want to destroy themselves at every fast section of the circuit here typically. Oh wow, I really pulled ahead. Um, so what I've tried to do is um, I've reworked this corner. Um, the cars kind of use the whole track here now. Um, I've also fixed the pit exit. So the cars will uh, exit the pits and make their way onto the track at full speed. I've uh, fixed these S's here so they'll kind of make their way through smoothly. And I've done my best to try and fix the high speed chicane at the back of the track that uh, leads into the rear of the pits. So you'll see that in a second. I'm not going to say the cars aren't going to crash though. Uh, they'll possibly be crashed during this video because I have my player.json file settings set quite high. So with 115 skills, 66 aggression, um, they've got auto learning too, so they try to take different lines, as you'll see, and they really have a go at each other. Um, so I've made some more tweaks to that file, I'll upload that too if anybody's interested. Um, and I'll put a post or put a link to the, um, the ARW file as well if anybody is interested and knows how to um, edit a track and replace the ARW file. So I'll do that um, when I post this up. Uh, I will preface this by saying though I have not I've not tested this with any other cars than the GTEs. Uh, I don't know how it'll run with the GT3s probably quite well. Um, I don't know how it would run with open wheels though probably not very well at all, especially on this uh, this first corner here because sometimes the car I'm not 100% happy with it. Sometimes the car really they really have a crack at it and they'll they'll just kiss the wall. Or if they're fighting for seat, the <laughs> the Corvette's a little bit tail happy. But um, I've heard a few people say that since this BOP the the Corvette's actually quite difficult to drive now. I haven't had a crack at it yet. Um, I've got to say, I absolutely love the Aston. Um, probably my second favourite car now. Um, the, the Porsche 911 RSO is still my favourite car in the GTEs. Um, but I really like the way this one behaves. It behaves kind of as you'd expect for a, um, you know, quite a long bonnet um, front engine rear wheel drive car. A little bit tail happy, but it's um, it's quite compliant as well. So you can you can get it to rotate for you, just with the throttle. Love to hear what other people think of the car, plus the uh, the bot settings. Um, had a crack in the uh, the Porsche last night to see what it felt like, <coughs> and I like it. But I've always liked the Porsche. Um, it didn't really feel overly different to me. Maybe a little bit easier to drive. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. I didn't really find the Porsche hard to drive in the past. But as you can see, we've got onto the third lap now, and um, we're all still fighting for position. So my changes seem to have worked a little bit. Uh, I think one of the interesting things about the uh, the Bop as well is that the uh, the cars. Oh, he's gone to block. This should this should be really interesting. Um, the cars all seem quite competitive now, including the. Um, the URD Detroit EGT, so you can actually have a five manufacturer race now, um, and it's all very competitive, which is very, very cool. I haven't yet uh, driven the McLaren, I'd love to hear people's thoughts on that. I've really been looking forward to that car, <coughs> so I purchased it, but I haven't run it. Um, probably by the time I up this, all I've had a go. Um, I was really hoping, and I don't know if it's, a, it's happened or not, but I was really hoping that we would get two versions of that car. I was hoping we would get the 814 horsepower version of the GTR, and, uh, and obviously the homologated version that the guys at the studio were talking about, which is, you know, 750 horsepower, I think, is the hypercar spec for Le Mans. So um, I was hoping we were going to get both, but I don't know if that's happened or not. Oh, the old uh, BMW at the front's tried to block. Let's see what happens here. Should be interesting coming into this corner. Oh, Ford's got him. Now the Ford's gone to block. Oh, this could be a disaster. 
No. The line seems to be, seems to be doing all right. I'm quite happy with this. There's still some changes I'd like to make. I'd like to make the guys a little bit um, less insane into that first corner. Still, they they tend to run a little bit wide and they will kiss it. And I've noticed that the uh, the Corvette kind of really steps out there. Um, which can lead to a little bit of damage and then obviously the oh and there you go he's tried to pass so there you go so we have had an accident oh well he's still running though <laughs> did the Corvette try to block me there oh and now let's give him the Porsche chance He's still there. So as you can see, you can actually have some competitive racing here now. So if everyone's interested, I'll pop a, a link up. Um, it's just as long. All you need to do is know how to unpack a track, um, cut out the AIW file, and um, pop the new one in, and then repackage the mass, and then repackage the um, the whole track. It only takes a couple of minutes if you know how to do it. Really interested to see what the guys do with their stability fixes. Um, hopefully we should be getting something <coughs> of an update soon for that as well. Thinking about running a little bit of an Enduro. Um, now that I'm confident at uh, creating AOW files, I might fix the racing line at Sveg. That's an eight kilometer track um, in Sweden. So I might have a crack at fixing that and actually run a little bit of a mini enduro there with a day night cycle in the GTEs or maybe even run the McLaren with the rest of the cars the LMP2s, LMP3s and the GTEs I think that would be pretty cool ok let's see if we can get third I actually don't know how many laps we've got left of them just jabbering away ok <coughs> Into the fifth lap now. Looks like the Ford's got ahead of the two Beamers. Just the whole truck there. The one thing, I'm not 100%, I love the way the car feels, just not 100% on the way the Aston sounds. Just doesn't have that grunt that you'd, uh, you know, you, you kind of expect it to have. Oh. See if we can catch these guys. Nice gearbox noise though. Kind of hoping that the the, uh, the team. Just as a little update to the um, the GT3 Aston, I mean the, the front ends on both of these cars are literally the same, so it'd be great to see them put the effort in and just. Oh no! Should have kept my mouth shut. Ah, Porsche gets past. Okay, let's claim the spot back. And catch Bree. As you can see, the cars really use all the track there now. But yeah, as I was saying, it'd be really nice to see them just update that GD3 car, fix the front end, make it the whole package. The cars are the same externally, basically, especially at the front. Some of you might also notice, if you've been watching me for a little bit, that I'm using a different headset again. Um, don't get me started on Corsair. I don't think I'll ever be buying another Corsair product. So I've swapped over to um, Cooler Master. I'll pop a link. Um, this isn't paid in any way, shape or form. Um, I'll pop a link if anyone's interested in this model. It's the 751. Um, these have got to be the most comfortable uh, headphones I've ever had.
they are a closed ear though, so they do get a little bit warm, but um, nothing to really worry about. And the microphone on this is a lot better than the, the previous headphones I had as well. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh. so the Ford's made a mistake. I wonder if he tried to, or if the BMW tried to pass him. I'm just really happy that the cars make it through this section most of the time now. Still got to fix that section there that they, uh, they go over the rail track. They tend to dab their brakes there for some reason. So I just need to tweak the speed there. Oh, we'll lock up then. And across the line. Oh, oh, fourth. Not too bad. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.